So here we shall solve some more ACT previous year questions on the chapter electromagnetic induction. So in the first part we have solved till the question number 14. So here in the second part of this chapter we will start from question number 15 onwards. So any doubts if you have then please write that in the comments section. Any other chapter of physics if you have difficulty, then mention the name of that chapter in the comment section. Then we should give more priority on it and solve more questions on that chapter. Also, some important homework questions based on the previous year PCT exam, which we uploaded in the Sapiens Education application. So please install our Sapiens Education application whose link has been provided in the description. So in question number 15 it is told a jet plane having a wing span jet plane is having a wing span of 25 meters is traveling horizontally towards the east traveling towards the east and uh, With a speed V is of 2600 km per hour. If the Earth's magnetic field at the location, Earth's magnetic field at this location is 4 into 10 power minus 4 tesla. And the angle of dip, angle of dip that is theta suppose, is also called as inclination that is 30 degree. So at any place on the path we have if this is the net earth's field, then this is the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field. The vertical component of the earth's magnetic And this is the angle theta, which is called the deep angle of the inclination. So now, therefore, you know that BE cos theta that is equal to H. And B is sine theta that is equal to the vertical component. B. So, therefore, tan theta that is equal to B e by H. <coughs> now, uh, the speed is so we have to take B, the vertical component only we have to take. Therefore, the potential difference between the ends of the wing, the potential difference that is called the induced EMF, that is equal to the PVL. So here the B that is equal to VE is VE sin theta that is 4 into 10 power minus 4 into sin 30 degree into V, V is 3600 kilometer per hour but you have to convert it into, into the SI unit so it's into 5 by 18 meter per second it's 18 divided by 36 so that is 1000 meter per second so into 1000 to 10 power 3 into L the length of Wing span that is 25 meters. That is 25 for the 100, 100 into 10 power 3 that is 10 power 5 into 10 power minus 4 into sine 30 that is 5 volts. So option B is the correct answer. Is the correct one. Then question number 16 is told the magnetic flux link with a coil varies as y equal to 3t square plus 4t plus 9. So this is the magnetic flux link with this coil. The magnitude of the induced EMF is 2 seconds. 
e m l that is equal to d phi by so we you have to find only the magnitude that is d phi by dt so that is equal to d by dt of dt square s four plus one so that will be equal to six t plus four so we have to find the induced dmf at t equal to two seconds equal to two seconds the magnitude of induced dmf will be six into two plus four volts that is 12 plus 6 that is 16 volts so option b is the correct answer question number 17 is to consider this is the situation given in figure so where a b so this is the resistance of a b so this is moving with a velocity b where a b is sliding on the fixed rails with a constant velocity so where a b is replaced by a semicircular wire the magnitude of the induced current will decrease increase so the magnitude of induced current will remain the same <coughs> Uh, magnitude of the induced you know, induced current induced current will be equal to the induced emf by the resistance r the magnitude of the induced current will increase or decrease depending on whether the semicircle pointes towards the resistance <coughs> it will remain the same so option d is the correct answer so here why it will remain the same since why even if it is a semicircular wire then also the rate of change of the area that will be equal to l into b length into the velocity so here here also the rate of whatever be the shape of this wire AB, the rate of change of the area, the rate of change of the area that is proportional to the velocity of that wire. So it will, so it means the rate of change of the flux, which is the induced EMF, that will, that is also proportional to the velocity only. And so it is independent of the shape of the wire. Hence, option B is the correct one. Question number 18 it is told that a rod of length 2 meter, a rod of length 2 meter slides with a speed. B, which is 5 meter per second on a rectangular conducting frame as shown in figure there exists a uniform magnetic field that is 0 0.04 tesla which is perpendicular to the plane of the figure if the resistance if the resistance of the rod that is 3 ohm the current to the rod is So the current resistance of the rod is 3 ohms. So the induced current will be induced EMF divided by the resistance. The induced EMF is VVL, which is divided by R. So V is the magnetic field that is 0 0.04 tesla into the velocity that is 5 and the length of the rod that is 2 meter divided by the resistance that is 3 ohms. So that will be so this much ampere this is equal to 4 5 so 20 20 into 2 that is 40 40 by 3 into 10 power minus 2 ampere so it is 13.33 10 power minus 2 ampere that is equal to 0 0.133 ampere or you can say 
133.3 into 10 power minus 3 ampere or 133 milliampere approx. So option D is the correct answer. In question number 19 is told a current in a coil of inductance. A current in a coil having inductance L which is 0 0.2 Henry. The current changes from 0 plus changes from 5 ampere to 2 ampere in a time interval of 0 0.5 seconds. So magnitude of the average induced in the current. So the magnitude of the average sorry the magnitude of the average induced DMO that is that will be equal to delta phi b by magnitude of delta phi b by delta t. We know that phi b that is equal to L i. So therefore delta phi b that will be equal to L into delta i. So that is equal to L into mod delta i by delta t. So L is 0 0.2 Henry and mod of delta i that is 5 minus 2 divided by time interval that is Two point two into three by zero point five. So six by point will point can be six by five that is one point two volts. Option D is the correct answer. Equation number twenty is two current flowing through an inductance coil current flowing through an inductance coil of self inductance six millimeters. At different time instants is as shown. So the current flowing through this is shown by this graph. So the EMF induced in, in between t equal to 20 seconds to t equal to 40 seconds. What will be the EMF induced? <coughs> so therefore, the EMF induced, the uh, average induced EMF. That will be equal to average induced EMF that is equal to delta phi b by delta t. Delta phi that is minus delta phi b by delta t. That is minus L delta i divided by delta t. Since phi b that is equal to L. Magnetic flux is equal to self inductance into the current. So that will be equal to L into minus delta I means I have to do I initial minus I final divided by T final minus T initial. So therefore the average induced in that will be equal to L into delta I. So I initial here, I initial is 4 ampere and I final is 3 ampere. 4 ampere and I final is so that will be 4 minus 3 ampere divided by T final is 40 seconds minus 20 seconds. And L L is equal to 6 millihenry. So this will be into 6 into 10 power minus 3. It's not volts. This will be 1 by 1 by 20 into 6 into Power minus So this will be 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 3 that is 3 into 10 power minus 4 volts. So it means that here none of the options are correct. None of the options are correct. Question number 21 is told there is a long solenoid. A long solenoid is there. It has got 500 turns when a 
current I of 2 ampere is passed through it, the resulting magnetic flux linked with each turn of the solenoid. Magnetic flux linked with each turn of the solenoid that is 4 into 10 power minus 3 by per then the self induction of the solenoid is the self induction we know that n into 5v that is equal to l into r so therefore 5v so therefore l we can write l will be equal to n into 5v divided by r therefore the self inductance l that is equal to the, the number of turns 500 into 5v is 4 into 10 power minus 3 by 1 divided by i that is 2 2 to the 4 thousand into 10 power minus 3 that is 1 yes. option c is the correct answer at question number 22 it is told a magnetic flux of flux density magnetic field of flux density one vapor per meter square or i can tell one one tesla also i can tell one tesla i can tell acts normal to a 80 turn coil that means the number of turns is 80 80 turn coil is, is there and its area area is 0 0.01 meter square if this coil is removed from the field this coil is removed from the field. One field is there. That field is one Tesla or one vapor per meter square. Then, uh, so this is the field. The coil is removed from the field in a time interval of 0 0.2 seconds. If the EMF induced in it, the EMF induced in it that is equal to. EMF induced in it that will be equal to delta phi b divided by delta t. The error is induced in minus delta phi b by delta t. So that will be equal to phi b initial phi initial minus phi final divided by t final minus t initial. So The initial flux, so initially it was fully inside the region of magnetic field. So the initial flux was V into A. The final flux is V. Since why it has since finally it has been removed from the field. The time interval T final minus T initial that delta T that is equal to 3.2 seconds. Therefore, the average induced EMF that will be B into A, B into A that is equal to 1 into 0 0.017 meter square minus 0 divided by delta T. So that will be equal to B into A that is 1 into 0 0.01 divided by delta T that is 0 0.2 seconds. So, therefore, how much of the EMF into infinite that will be 0 0.1 by 2 that is okay. so here the number of turns so EMF into it will be n in n into delta phi b by delta t so here one thing I have used that is minus n delta phi b by delta t so here n also will come into n so this into n, n the number of turns is 80. So this will be to 40. So this is 4 volts. So option B is the correct one. So hope so here we shall end. The second part of this ACT video on electromagnetic induction. So, hope all of you have understood the solutions of these 22 questions. And if any doubts you have, then please write us in the comments. 
description and please install our sapiens education application where you should upload some important homework questions on the previous year JCT exam which shall be helpful for you so thank you everyone